Hi guys, it's Candace from DIYMyBrand.com. I wanted to make this quick video to show you how to make a very simple, undated, hyperlinked digital planner inside of Canva. I want to show you how to create this from scratch. Now, I don't recommend starting from scratch each time, but for those of you that want to know how to start from scratch, this is why I made this video. What I do recommend is using pre-made templates. This is just gonna save you so much time. You're just gonna be able to go in, drag and drop, customize you know, the fonts, different things, and it's just gonna make the process so much easier for you. But for those of you that want to know how to make this simple undated planner from scratch, this video is for you. Now, this is a very quick video. Um, I actually do courses where I'm not moving this fast. So please don't think that this is how I teach all the time in my courses and things because it's not. But I wanted to make this quick video for you. You can slow it down, watch it as many times as you need so that you can see how to make this simple, undated digital planner. All right, so let's dig in. Click Create a Design, choose Custom Size, make the document 9.5 by 11 inches. Next, click on Elements and type in Spiral. I'm going to choose this option here. And now I'm going to make it bigger and stretch it to the side of the page. And I'm going to adjust the colors. Once you're done adjusting the colors, go to Elements, go to Lines and Shapes, click on the square and add it to the page. Now we're going to stretch it like so. Go to position and choose backward. Now change the color to white. Go to photos and type in white wood. I'm going to choose this one here, add it to the page, stretch it to fill up the whole page. And now you want to position it all the way to the back. Now it looks like we have a blank notebook setting on white wood. Next, click on element, add another square. We're going to size this down and create something that looks like a tab. Once I get it to the right size, I'm going to duplicate this 12 times for 12 months. So each month we'll have a tab. Now you're going to have to size this so that the tabs fit along the notebook. Now I'm going to adjust the colors of each tab. Once the colors are adjusted, click on text and add a text box. I'm going to type in January or J-A-N for January. I'm going to put this in all caps and choose a different font for it. Now I'm going to move it up here to the first tab, turn it 90 degrees, and I'm going to place it on top of the first tab, change the color to white, duplicate it so that it's on all 12 of the tabs. Now go back and line each tab up to make sure each January is center. Now I'm going to go back and change the month for each tab. So you see I'm on June, July, August, and so forth. Next, I'm going to select all of the tabs and all of the text and group them. Now I'm going to duplicate this page 12 times. Once I've duplicated the pages, I'm going to name each page by month. So January, February, March, April, May, basically all the months. So 12 pages, 12 months. Now we're going to add in the hyperlinks. This is so that when people click on each tab, it will go to the right month. So let's start with Jan. So click Jan, click on this little link area. You want to look for the page that says Jan, click done. Then you want to go to the tab behind Jan the, and link it to Jan as well. Next, go to Feb, click on the link. Sorry, I got to ungroup it because sometimes it works better ungrouped. So now go and click on Feb, click on the little link area, click on the Feb page and hit done. Click on the box behind Feb and you're going to click on the link link it to the Feb page, hit done. And then you just go down and do this for each month. So you link each month to the right page and tab to the right page. This is why we name the pages so that you can easily see each page and link them. So go ahead, link all of them. I am going to remove the underline once I'm done linking them. So <clears throat> basically you'll see that. 
So now I'm done adding all of the links. I'm just going to go back through, select all the text, and I'm going to remove the underline from each of them. Okay, so you see that I've removed the underline from each of these, then everything looks like I want it to look. So now I'm going to select all of these again, the tabs and the text and group them. Now I want you to go to pages two through 11 and remove the tabs, but keep the tabs on the first page. Now go back to the first page, select the group, and you're going to copy and paste to each of the pages. I used Command C to copy on a Mac and then Command V to paste. Now go to page 12 and add a page. Click on Templates and then you want to type in Undated Calendar and I'm going to select this one here. Now I'm going to go in, change this up a bit, change these little things to squares, make some customizations to it as you see. I'm just focusing on the grid area of the calendar. Okay, so now I want to select the whole grid. You're going to group it and you're going to copy it. Now scroll back up to page one and paste it to the first page. Now I'm just going to go in and adjust the color and get the grid exactly like I want it. Once the color is right, you want to go click on text and add a text box. So you see I type in Jan for January. I'm going to play around with the text. Don't think I want to go with this script font. Just keep playing around with it. Okay, this is what I'm going to choose. Now I want to go back down to page 13 that we added and I'm going to actually select this little area where it says year, the line, and then the rectangle. I'm going to um, select that area and copy it and then go back up to page one and paste it here. Okay, so now I'm going to move this little grouped area, move it to exactly where I want it, get it customized, change the color and it looks like I want, and now I'm all set there. Okay, so now I wanna select Jan, the grid, the year, the line. I wanna select all of that and group it. And now I want to center it and get it positioned exactly how I want it to appear. Now I'm gonna select this entire group and I'm gonna copy, so Command C. And now I'm gonna go down to pages two, through 12 and paste. Once I'm done pasting, I'm gonna go change the name for each month to the right month. Now go back up to January, you want to add a page and then go back to January again and you want to actually duplicate the January page. Now go back up to the January page that you added and you want to select everything on it and duplicate that off so it looks like you have a blank page. Go to page three, click on templates, and you're going to type in notes. I'm going to add this simple notes page here. I'm going to go in, customize this notes page like I want it. And you do the same, so just change it to however I want it to look. Now I'm gonna select everything on this notes page. I'm going to group it. And then yes, I'm going to copy and paste it on the page above. Or you can just drag it up there, that works too. And then you want to size it so that it fits perfectly on this page. Now let's go to this extra page and delete it. Next, you want to click on the grid view so that you can see all of the pages. I want you to click on this notes page and I want you to duplicate it and then you're going to drag it behind February, duplicate it again, drag it behind March, and then you're just going to go and put one behind each month. So now you see you have a simple undated planner with notes pages. Now click on share, go to download, and you want to select PDF standard and just click download. Now you can open up the PDF and I want you to take a look at the hyperlinks. So you see your client can click on January, February, March, April, all of the months and it will go to the right place. And now you can see I can open it up on my iPad. I can write in it. When I click on the tabs, it goes to each month. 
So guys, if you've watched this, you've tried it, you like what you see, and you feel, hey, you know, I like doing this, but maybe I would like to get those pre-made Canva templates. Well, I do have some pre-made Canva templates for you along with the course that's going to show you how to create your own digital planner from start to finish, okay? And it's going to show you how to post it on Etsy to sell and all that great stuff. So please check the links and things below this video so that you can get information on that course. I would love to have you.